what is apache solar apache solar is open source enterprise level search platform it is the most widely used search platform deployed worldwide some of the companies which use solar are netflix aol e trade disney mtv flipkart etc it enjoys a strong reputation for being extremely scalable stable and reliable its top feature include advanced full text search near real time indexing communication to solar server exposes industry standards protocol like xml json over http we don't have to worry about scalability when using solar as the data grows solar can be deployed in multiple hosts which can easily scalable and apart from scalability it provides auto index replications automatic failover and recovery all these comes with one time easy flexible and all these comes with one time easy flexible xml configurations why one should learn solar well these days big data is growing to large extent like gbs dbs and even pbs of structured as well as unstructured data it is of no use until you learn to perform a search or extract important analytical information which will help in providing it is no use until you learn to perform a search or extract important information to derive a useful information and providing a vital business stats this is one of the use case of solar wherein you extract a big data and provide analytical information or useful information to the business also think about the lines of internet industry like e-commerce job portal restaurants movies etc most of them provide a search engine to support their businesses so solar provides a very important role in performing these search operations on the salary part as per the reports published in payscale.com an average salary of a software developer having a solar experience gets 100 us dollars there is a huge demand for analytical field e-commerce job portal and on big data online retailers are finding unprecedented growth in sales over past few years e-commerce generated 231 billion dollar sales in us last year it is expected to increase by 13% every year on the career perspective apache solar is claimed to be number 1 open source search platform server also it is one kind of no sql data store which is being increasingly popular these days on the career perspective apache solar is claimed to be number 1 open source search platform server it is one kind of no sql data store which is being increasingly popular these days once you gain the knowledge of apache solar you are just taking your first steps towards a massive domain which is information retrieval system and content discovery who can learn solar well this course is important for software developers data scientists big data developer and data warehousing professionals on the prerequisites anybody having the basic knowledge of command line and http protocol can start this course and at last why you should choose intellipath well we provide comprehensive industry led and career oriented courses once you opt for this course you get 24 bar 7 lifetime course access with free upgrade we have exclusive corporate tie ups and provide you with job assistance if required and during this course we provide complete hands on with live projects so that you get complete in depth understanding from basics to advanced level so let us get started with building of our bookstore module where we will uh start with building of our uh, manage schema.xml adding fields copy fields etc yeah let's get started we will create a core configure solar config.xml or manage schema then we will index using solar key client we are using the same directory structure which is d intellipath solar and in terminal i have opened d intellipath solar uh, 
and then bin directory to start with we will have to start our solar server and then create the core i'm starting solar server now trying to start on 8983 port 
reddish over here it is just for illustration purpose of solar it is nothing to do with actual book okay it is just considered as example let us get into the manage schema and see what are the default fields present in the config okay so it has started with schema version name it has fields dynamic fields unique id field type so each field type having analyzer and filters associated to it right let us see what are each of them says fields are defined in fields element of schema.xml once you have a field type setup defining field themselves is very simple okay so each field is defined under our fields root node the bare minimal thing to have a field name right so field name should consist of alphanumeric or underscore character only and not to start with digit names with both leading and filling underscore are reserved each field must have a unique name to identify itself now the type parameter says uh, the type of the field basically a uh, data type denoting uh, the field uh, type associated class and filters applied for this field type is the custom name defined over here and the same entry you should be uh, the same entry should be present in the field type as well okay so for instance uh, just take a look at this field name is defined as string so if you go uh, scroll down the field type string is present so that maps over here and the class which uses to store the data is solar dot str field okay it has some basic uh, attributes defined over here so likewise there are other fields as well so for instance if you uh, get into the text underscore general there will be a field type defined it has its own uh, configuration so for instance you can see over here so it uses a standard tokenizer factory it uses a stop word it uses so this is for index so it has two analyzers one for indexing another for querying so these analyzers will be one will be used during index the another will be used during query and it has its own tokenizer it has its own filters applied to it so you can create your own field type having its own analyzer and tokenizer and filters as well okay for now we will use the default uh, field types uh, we have a default uh, attribute as well okay so in uh, the field can contain the default attribute so if no value is passed during indexing that sets the default value over here you can see there is another attribute called index so if it is set as true the value of this field can be used in queries to retrieve the matching documents and then we have a attribute called stored if this is true then the actual value of the field can be retrieved by queries so it is not for matching but it is matched by another uh, field and this field is just present as part of the document the other important attribute is multi-valued indicates that this field is a single valued or it is a multiple valued there is another important attribute is required instructs solar to reject any attempt to add document basically it says like 
any document where which you are trying to add and if this field is missing solar will throw an exception saying this is the mandatory field and you need to set the value for it there are other types of uh, field def definitions so over here you can see the field it's a basic uh, declaration of field there is even a dynamic field apart from basic and dynamic field there is something called copy fields you might want to uh, interpret some document fields in one or other way okay so solar provides a mechanism for making copying of fields so that you can apply in several distinct field types so basically if you have a uh, field 1 and field 2 you have a third field which says it is combination of field 1 and field 2 then you use a field of type copy field the common usage of this a common a common usage of this functionality is to create a single search field a common usage for this functionality is to create a single search field that will serve as default query field when users or client do not specify any field query for example we have n number of fields let's say a title a book title a book uh, isbn a book keywords book description so if you don't specify any search criteria to search with we create a field uh, a dedicated field wherein we do a default search on the copied field basically that field will be combination of all other fields we will have to use this functionality uh, however uh, if we are using this functionality we will have to make sure we use a limited number of fields to copy to this uh, destination field or using the copied field because it might be problematic for you if the size of the fields are huge you will have to consider the bit space also okay so it is just not a single document so this field alone can have monolithic big information of all the fields right and the next thing which we have is our dynamic field as the name suggests so uh, it allows solar to index fields that uh, you do not explicitly define in your schema you define just the partial out of it this is useful if you have uh, if you discover you have forgotten to define one or more fields dynamic fields can make your application less brittle by providing some flex flexibilities in the document that you can add it to solar a dynamic field is just like a regular field except that it has a wild card in it wherein it you can use it as a placeholder for your field okay so let's uh, start uh, with our use case of building a bookstore module okay. so before uh, defining field for our bookstore module we will have to go through the fields which are required to start with our bookstore so what i have done is i have uh, created a directory containing the json files wherein each json is denoting book so basically it has a publisher name then we have isbn a unique identifier for this book publisher location author first name author last name then we have categories or genre to which the book belongs then we have title publisher lat long then we have price defined in each of the uh, e-commerce sites so please note this is just for a uh, tutorial purpose i have uh, added these data it is nothing to deal with the actual uh, book available okay it is just for tutorial purpose now let's go back to our manage schema and start defining our fields so we will not be needing this uh, root we will comment it out 
ID we don't need instead of ID we will use our ISBN then we have a book title uh, book title is just not a single string it is multiple strings so I will use the text underscore uh, general okay and then we have a publisher name so I will name it as UV name it is a single string it is indexed stored okay then we have author first name and last name right let's say author first name then author last name right and then uh, we have a publisher location publisher uh, location right and then we have publisher lat long instead of string I'll use it as location so this is responsible for storing the coordinates I will even need the dynamic field by name coordinates okay so I'll say star hyphen coordinates which is of type double okay so it is just uh, indexed and it need not be stored this is optional and then uh, we have the categories I'll say categories which is of type string and since it can contain more than one value I'll say multi-value true to illustrate the use case of copy field I'll use uh, I'll combine authors first name and last name to another field by name author full name I'll make it as multi-valued so it can combine the result of author first name as well as last name okay so I'll say uh, copy field uh, from source first name and copy it to our destination field author full name likewise i'll copy author last name to author full name so this field will be populated by our copy field attribute we will even showcase the dynamic field so how we will showcase it so we had a use case wherein we had a price corresponding to each of the e-commerce side so i will use a dynamic field of let's say let's say wildcard and then say underscore price so over here I will replace with Amazon Flipkart Rediff or any other e-commerce sites so the type I will give it as int indexed and store do we need a uh, rest of the fields we don't need it we can simply delete all of these and then unique id is our isbn where it is the unique identifier for the document 
version is required then all of our uh, bookstore specific fields are required so let us cross check once again we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Right. We are good with our declaration of fields. And now we will start with our Eclipse project to index the data from our JSON files and store it in Solar. Okay. So we are good with our uh, fields declaration.